Hello, I'm Kain on the Tech Pro, and today we are going to continue from tutorial 6 how to assess all elements with a specific attribute in an XML file. Now, I want, to, I want you to understand that attributes are uh, something you need to see exactly what it means. In an XML file, we have tags or nodes, and each of those nodes might have attributes. For instance, we have this author has attributes called location and those attributes has values so you have these nodes we have attributes we have value okay so now what we are going to query is not the data it's not just the elements but the attributes inside these elements so let's get started uh, just put away this remember is in different tutorials if you want this file you can just let me know in the comment box remember to subscribe too so that you can get the support you need I can give you all these tutorials if you want um, tutorial 6 6 how to assess elements or records with a specific attribute so public void get records with specific attributes all right so of course you know how to start do you know how to write the first two lines? I think that should be very easy by now. You start by saying x elements x elements equal to x elements dot load. You specify the name of the XML file. At this point is books dot XML. All right. So the next line you put everything inside. A uh, enumerable type, enumerable of x elements is equal to x enumerable x element book is equal to x element dot elements. Okay, all right, I guess. We need to use it like a method so it works. So this time we want to query for the attributes. Okay, we want to query to get to assess the attributes of the nodes. And I already explained to you what attributes mean. They are enclosed the they are inside the tag and in, the values are enclosed in single in double quotes. They are strings. So we also use link uh, query okay so you know how to write link query by now you say var okay meanwhile what do we want to query we want to get all books where the author stays in um let's say where the author stays in this place where the author stays in aqua Okay, we want to assess all the records where the auto location is Akoha. Alright, so we say var um, books um let's say auto equal to equal to from um book in books from book in books so the system is going to understand that we want to search this collection okay. where um, book dots or book dots attributes I think it's very easy. Attribute location. If 
value equal to select book. Okay. So we're having a problem here. Um, okay, you always use equal to sign twice because it's a logical operation. So we are selecting all the authors. Um, okay, let's just say we are selecting all the books where the author stays in this place. If we go to our XML file, we see that there is one author called Gamba, uh, Gamba Della Matthew and stays in this location we want to select. So hopefully it's going to return that very one. Alright, so now we want to display these items in the output. So we want to display, so we use for each for each um, VR book in BKS. Okay, so remember you can also use X element here, yeah? it's also okay. So for each book in BKS. But since I already use book here, let's say, or let's still leave it there. So what I'm going to console dot write line. Um, I'm going to write book. So at this point, we want to get the records of course the record everything in the record where the attribute value matches this all right so we are going to run it but before we do that let's go to our main program and call the correct uh, function so let's see if it's going to search this xml file and select all the records where the location matches the specified location. So if I run it now, it doesn't display a thing. It says object reference not set to instance. Let's see. Now if we open, we see that location is case sensitive. So that is where the problem is coming from. And so we, we are going to change this to location. In your programs, remember you need to include error handling and that is in a different tutorial series where I explain how to handle errors and exceptions in your code. So if we run it, hopefully um, OK, let's correct this. So we have from book in books, where book dots elements will explicitly specify that we want the element called book let's see oh sorry the, the attribute is an author okay where uh, element uh, auto the attributes so is you put in the the author here okay so this is actually the tag that contains the attribute you are searching for okay. but if I put book here it's going to search through these attributes ID attributes as you can see so if I run it now it to display uh, the particular record that match the criteria okay so you can see the location is here so let's just prove that what we are saying works if I go ahead to another book and change the, the location to 
this time I expect to get two records so if I run it I'll have the two records that match this location All right so as I was saying before this code is searching through the auto and returning the particular record now if I want to search for particular ID let's say I want to get the attribute the records where the book ID is equal to this so in that way I'm going to search book and I'm going to search ID and I'm going to say equal to BK103 sorry is equal to BK103 so at this point it will search uh, the book element and the ID attributes so it runs gives us error message so book dot element book that attributes ID that value let's see okay let's see let's see select from book in books where book dots okay at this point we will not need uh, elements because we already at the, at the particular element so if we run it now hopefully we get the correct result so what it means is that this book actually represent individual books now if we want to search inside this we can now specify dot element author dot element title etc etc so that is how to search the attributes to return a specified attribute so we are going to stop here remember to subscribe like this video and share with your friends and we are going to continue from tutorial 7 how to find element within another element. I would like to thank you for watching.